Hi, okay, here's a quick tutorial on how to use the articulation sets in Logic Pro. Here I have my instance of Vienna and I loaded five articulations, sustain, portamento, staccato, pizzicato and tremolo. I also set up key switches to control my x-axis cell switching like we usually do. Now here I've created an articulation set that allows me to program basically a filter that is going to activate those key switches. And to look at it, I'm going to tap edit so we can take a look how, how the articulation sets looks. There are three tabs. There's a switches, articulation and output. And we have to configure all three of them. The first thing I'm going to do is to set up my articulations. I created five articulations that correspond to the five articulation that I have here in my Vienna. Sustain, portamento, staccato, pizzicato and tremolo. To add a new articulation you simply tap the plus button here. You're going to give a name to the articulation and the ID number is set up automatically. Right? So um, if you want to uh, rename it you just tap right there and say I want to have legato. So here I'm going to add a legato option, a legato articulation. The next thing you have to do is to look for the output. So I'm going to go to output and here I need to specify what VSL is waiting for, is supposed to get in terms of key switches for each articulation. So for the legato is waiting for a not on and the not on is going to be an F0. Once this is set up, I can go to the tab called switches. Here I have to specify basically the same thing but on the logic side. And basically I'm going to say, I'm going to trigger these articulations using not on, using the same not on that I set up here and the mode is going to be permanent. You can change the mode depending on your needs but the permanent is usually how key switches behave in Vienna. So I'm going to create the new one not on F0 is going to be permanent and it's going to be assigned automatically to legato because it's the one that I created here. Once you have all this set up make sure that the MIDI remote is checked and now we can record these key switches as we normally would do but you're going to see that we're not going to see them in the track instead these are going to be embedded in each note so let's try I'm going to start with sustain switch to portamento Pizzicato. Now the interesting thing is that I can notice right away that my traditional key switches were not recorded on my track. And in fact, down here we can see the notes but we don't see the key switches because logic embedded those key switches in the notes so if I tap on a note I can see and I can hear it with the correct articulation I can see the articulation of that note right here So this is a big advantage because I don't need to trigger my articulations anymore because they are embedded in the node through my articulation set. 
So once you have it set it up, it's actually very, very convenient. You have to set it up for each library and for each settings that uh, you might have for, for a certain uh, specific project. But you can open them up in any project once you have them set up. So it's really, really cool, very convenient. And the other advantage is that I can change that articulation attached to that note at any given time. If I want this note, instead of being sustained, being tremolo, I can just do it that way. Right, so it's really, really convenient. It takes a little bit of time to set it up. Well, once you are done, um, it's going to speed up your, your workflow considerably. I hope you're going to try it. Have fun with it.